So in OBS, there's a couple of, uh, you just have to know a few things and then it's a lot easier to use. But at first it is kind of weird to set up. It seems kind of technical, but in the end it's not. It's like one click. All I have to do is hit this start stop button to start and stop recording over here. Um, so right here in your sources, you just add like audio input capture, um, whatever in there. So you can see what I have is the mic so that I have in a, one of those headset mics and that's the mic off of that it's capturing. And then there's the desktop audio. So like any dings or music or anything that gets played on the desktop would otherwise be muted. So that brings that in. Um, see if there's and then you can add filters if you want to get tricky and stuff on there and then the display capture which of course is this is uh, doing sort of like a display echo thing so you have to add those sources add the mic desktop audio if you want and then a display capture and then my desktop audio I guess was coming in pretty hot so I dropped it down to about there and then I guess it's supposedly like it says negative 20 on there, but up here it says negative uh, 4.9 decibels for the mic audio. Your mileage will vary, but you basically want it to be something like the high greens for regular talking. And then if you, something loud, you want it to, um, like something even too loud, you want to stay below the red. Because once it gets in the red, it starts clipping. But yeah, and then I'll go into my settings here. because there was a few things to fine tune. Well, I obviously have it on the dark theme. Um, I'll just kind of scroll through these. I don't remember setting anything too specific or too critical in there. Um, the stream, I don't really use that part. And then the output mode, it looks like I don't have any like specific output mode. Oh, I have it on advanced. And then um, I'm using the X264 four codec with thirteen sixty six by seven sixty eight but that's unchecked for rescale. Um I actually run my desktop at twelve eighty by seven twenty and then this recording I think should be set up to match that. And then there's the bitrate I use. All this seems to be like just enough. It's very fast so it doesn't like uh hog up on the CPU. You can even record like regular old I don't know about like maybe the most cutting edge video games but I can record regular old video games and stuff and it's not like a performance hit um, I'm doing it into an M MKV container uh, you can do mp4 that should be fine um, variable bitrate 750k with the 1500 uh, megabyte buffer so that's like a 1.5 gig buffer effectively that's been sort of one of those magic numbers that even when I was using like FFmpeg at the command line to record, these are some of those little uh, attribute values that I brought over from there. So I know it's a pain in the butt. Like if you don't know the technical stuff to go in and like set these, it's like, what is a CRF or whatever, you know, like I know how that goes. So just look at my settings and copy them into yours. They're pretty good, really good for the middle of the road, fast settings. And then for the audio, I'm doing 48K mono because I'm just recording voice. And this is my headset. So I have desktop audio. I guess I had to go in here and then like actually select um, and make sure your device is plugged in. Make sure you're like if you're using an external mic or headset or anything like that, make sure all that's plugged in before you start up OBS or else plug it all in and restart OBS. And then also with it obviously plugged in, you got to come in here and pick it. And then if you try and like unplug your headset and use your regular mic, I know it's a little bit technical stuff, but um, it won't pick that up. It won't pick up like your regular computer mic unless you come in here and explicitly set that up and then add that to your sources. And I think, you know, if you have a mic that's not always plugged in and if you if it's plugged in, you want to use it. I think you can just have them all like in your sources all the time and maybe enable or disable them. 
I don't know too much about that. And then right here, this is the resolution I usually set my desktop to right before screencast, and then I record at that resolution. And that's just a uh, standard HD definition. YouTube just stopped giving it that red HD logo, but technically it's the baseline HD resolution. And of course you can set that higher or whatever, but ideally you want to match your desktop and get a one-to-one -one with the pixels on that and then not scale it. You know, if you do, then you are going to lose quality and it's going to take extra CPU resources and stuff like that. And even though this might seem like really magnified to some people, um, you get used to it pretty quick and you can always switch back. So that's how I got a normal process priority. Looks like these are all grayed out, so I don't even know if you can change them or what, but that's what they're set at. Um, I think these are probably the defaults. So anyway, I would give OBS a shot. And so just go in the settings, set up those sources, come in here, set these up right here try it out if you don't like the video quality maybe try some of my settings um, otherwise just you know if you can spend a little bit of time with it and once you get it set how you like then it's pretty much like set it forget it and it's just a matter of hitting start and stop right here to start and stop the recording and then you can go to file uh, show recordings and that will show your folder with wherever your recordings are and that default format has them by like date and time and you can also tell your file viewer to uh, sorted by like last last date and time modified and that should put it at like the top or very top or very bottom of the list whichever one you just recorded